Yeah, um, so what do you want to, so welcome to uh, Fridge Art. <laughs> <laughs> We've been, we've been recording. We've recording two sessions of mini fridge, so I, it took me a second, and then even as I was saying it, I wasn't sure, so that's why it took a while. So, welcome to Fridge Art. I'm Andrew Radek. And I'm Kristen Plesko. Uh What do you want to look at today? Oh, boy. Oh, do we have anything Halloween-related? Spooky? Boy, do we ever! I don't know. Let me find out. Spook- <laughs> do you have spooky skeletons? Here, I'm going to turn away so Do I, I look like the, like the type of person that used to draw skeletons? Well, you might have drawn a dragon that was a zombie at one point, because everyone fucking did. And you would be correct. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find something I was Halloween-y. a member of DeviantArt, too. I fucking know. Do-do-do. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Sorry if you guys get the Doug theme stuck in your head. That's, like, literally the fucking worst. Yeah, we apologize. Uh, I honestly also I'm hated... I'm not seeing anything super Halloween-y. Uh, is the, is the crippling fear of loneliness something scary? <laughs> no, no, that's actual actual things to be a straight up. <laughs> Are there any, like, witches or, like, Bayonetta or something? I mean, like... Is there any like giraffe, giraffe legged? Do we want to? Do we want to do the city of delusion, which is that the thing I talked about, the the guy that he wanted me to draw him shooting up a joy on fabrics. Yeah, sure. It's That's, pretty scary. Okay. It's pretty scary it's situation. Spooky. All right, look away. Okay, I'm looking away. <laughs> I'm looking at your cat's All right. lab. All right, look back. <laughs> oh boy, is that is that? So this took me forever. To so do? this kind of reminds me of like. Undertaker, that, like, really terrible movie from, like, the early 2000s. Like, just a woman with short hair in all black in a city. It kind of looks like you, Kristen. If you were I some sort it. of nameless, pointy-nosed... Not long face. Side-eyed. Her, her face isn't horse-like enough to be me. I, I don't think you got it. Also, my legs aren't nearly that hot. So, <laughs> the story behind this was, this was the guy that he had a lot of crazy ideas, and he had a character that I forget the exact things, because by per capita, the amount of information I was told by this guy has washed most of the actual information out of this. This was probably 2010. Is the sky a giant, uh... It's clouds. Cracker? It's clouds. Is the sky cracker. a giant, like... Is it, is it a giant Chinese cracker with, like, a with like a really weird Sorry, fortune? A fortune cookie. There we go. Oh, you're talking about the plane thing. I oh. thought you were talking about this, and I'm like, how the fuck does that look like Like, a it looks to me like there's just a giant fucking, like, fortune cookie thing in the sky. <laughs> no. It's like... Oh, no, boy. it's not. So That's, uh, this character, oh. I think this character was mostly black and white. But then, because I had to draw it again for something else. Uh, she was mostly black and white, but she had wandered into a world of, of actual color. And this is right around that same time where I painted everything black and white originally, or in grayscale, and then I added colors, which is why the colors all look like bruises. You can do it. You can. It takes Kristen, more Kristen, Kristen sometimes does it. Yeah, how often? Uh, I actually do it most of the time. Basically, I'll have a black and white sketch, then I'll use gradient mapping to be a little bitch. And, uh... It's easy because it's black and white. Because you can just paint on top anyway. Who fucking cares? But anyway, I like the checkers on her dress. He was extremely specific about this commission. So he gave me this giant line that I I had to write out in the sky, because everything is symbolic. Um... All the stores are symbolic. He, I remember he had me put this, zoom in? this yeah. lava nice day thing, and he wanted this L and this A big for no reason? I don't know the joke! It's a bookstore! Why is it about lava? the fuck sense does that make? I think that guy literally was high on meth, and he just <laughs> kept, and the fact that he didn't charge more, he just constantly kept giving you shit. Oh, no, also, it looks like there's like a tiny, like... I don't know, like, mouse circus, like, right behind her? It looks like... Mouse circus? I don't know what the fuck that is. It, I know it's supposed to be in it's the distance. It's <laughs> That is really... To me, I it really reminds like me of, like, like... It's supposed Basil to be, like, a Baker delusional... Street. Yeah, it does. It's supposed to be a delusional thing, but that being said, that is fucking wrong. And Yeah, she is, like, two well, feet this, away from it. Well, look at this... Oh, boy. Look at the stop sign where it's all the same stop... Or Ew. all the same stoplight. Oh. Uh, Maybe you can see it better here. Oh, no. Oh, it has my Unabomber thing on there. Oh, Jesus Beasley, are you going to sneeze on a desk for a while? 
Like, to okay. me, it just, like, I can't tell what size she is. Like, is she the size of the fucking moon? Like, what is she? Is <laughs> like, like it, I, I can't, I can't fucking tell. Like, is this, like, a 30-foot wide sidewalk? Like, I just don't know. There's no She's other people. She's supposed to be a normal side, size. I and I think I, I kept pushing, I think I kept, like, pushing these stores back, which you can see with these blur lines here. Yeah, I kept pushing really these stores, these stores, <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I kept pushing them back so they it would sort of fit a little bit more, but yeah, she still looks like she's like seven feet tall. And, and it just looks like she has like, there's like a little mouse Pinocchio hut, like right behind her that they're gonna be like, <laughs> just, you know, it's just really fucking so, weird. It reminds me of like the great mouse detective. Like, why is that there and why is it so, so tiny? I had to write something on all of this, and I think this one says like vase or something. It was all like crazy shit on here, alright? And so on this mess. was. This had a, a theater that's leaking water onto the street. Also, the water is right there. Also, um, also, it's literally... And then, uh, <laughs> I think I might have come up with the name of the store. Mm-hmm. I think he allowed me the privilege to come up with the name of the store, so that's why it's called Book It. That's a really gross shade of blue, I'll just add. Yeah, it is. That is and, a, <laughs> but the Lava Nice Day thing, that was definitely specified... Uh, this astronaut thing, where the it's, that, that was definitely specified. That is the... That's awful. The, so, the S that's... The mo- moons are not S-shaped. So, uh, uh, the, the thing they want on here is fundamentally flawed as things are, uh, something begins to notice uh, things they could never see or something. So, it's definitely like a delusion of reality, but it's... really fuck this guy. Yeah, and no, I'll just I, say it outright. People who, who put this much effort into symbolism, like, I just kind of hate them. And it's not because I can't read it. It's, it's because they're not... It's overly well, because there's, like, good symbolism. There's much more simplified ways to do this exact same thing without being so up his own ass about it. Yeah, because, yeah. like, I've seen a lot of really emotional artwork that had a lot of symbolism, but it wasn't, like, so fucking obvious that it was irritating. Like, people have a goddamn brain. It's like, they mm-hmm. can look. It's not that hard. Like, we can we can tell, like, with the color or, like, where the lighting goes, like, what, what you're intending to do. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, she does. Uh, I do like the Basil of Baker Street Theater there. I mean, Jesus. you're not gonna leave that alone. Are you? It is so you weird. Really it's so. T- it looks like she literally walked like two feet away, and then she grew twelve feet in the same <laughs> leaf. So, so let's oh, zoom in boy. here. Uh, her she- eye is like, like creeping off the side of her head there. Like Jesus. <laughs> it's a good oh thing her God. hair is covering it because. Uh, she has like a tiny Pac-Man mouth. Oh god, her that's eye. a oh my god, that's a fucking parasol. Look oh. at her neck. Oh my god. <laughs> she her neck connects so far back. I actually like the colors in her hair. I think that's okay. I'm I'm glad you've seen the light, Chris. Yeah, that is actually the exact hairstyle I had before my hairstylist cut my hair even shorter, and I want to grow it back again to that style. So looks, she's broken you know. her neck. <laughs> Cause nobody can look. She could be part owl. <laughs> Why the fuck not? So. Oh. I honestly, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to deal with planes in the face or anything. Her eye is huge, and also the other eye is not. She looks like a prenatal baby face. That's what she, she looks does. Like. It has like that really gross tiny chin, yeah. you know, and like, oh god, I forgot to bring the pamphlet I because I walked by the Planned Parenthood oh. and they gave me the. I walked by a Planned Parenthood in Luxton because I took a, a turn down the wrong street and apparently I went down like Ghetto Lane. Well, no, it's actually kind of nice, but basically it was the lane you do not walk by, because then the, the it was, like, kind of, like, janky. There were a lot of, like, dilapidated buildings, and then all of a sudden, the pan, Planned Parenthood, that was quite quite nice, and, like, are you... These two women, like, are are you going into there? You going into Planned Parenthood? Because the girl had just gone in there, like, before I had gotten there. Mm. I was like, no, I'm going to the museum. Yeah, yeah, good, good. You know what they do in there? I'm like, they provide health services for women. They commit abortions. <laughs> and I was like, I need a quarter that- for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then she's like, here, here, give it here. Here's a pamphlet. I'm like, I don't really need that. Here's a pamphlet. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take it. And I really wanted to like. I Just should have taken all their pamphlets. Like, I should, boy, oh, I should have. I, I, you should have just played along. But like, boy, I am so glad to meet like-minded individuals. Uh, I, oh, could I, I have should've. more of your pamphlets? Could I have as many pamphlets as you can give me so I can spread these out to the the 
the, the filthy artist thing you I'm know going what? to. Fuck women and their choices. Sure, I got like 500 pamphlets you know, and just throw if them. You, if you're stupid enough to get pregnant, even if you're raped, fuck you. They, you have a way to legitimately let's, shut let's that down. Let's not do this in a. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm being facetious, but, but basically. Both pro these choice. Are, just, 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 uh, we're younger. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, no it, it's for me, it's none of my damn business. And I basically. Anyways. Told them, but I told them, I was like, well, you know, you know what they do in there? Yeah. Yeah. Health services? Yeah, health services. Not really... I don't really care. Yeah, you know? unknowing dink. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of wanted to question them about, like, well, why not? What about, like... No. Next, you... next time, ask for all their pamphlets, and then throw them away somewhere out of sight. Pray, praise the Lord. <laughs> here, you do a better, like, paper ripping noise. Here, do it. Let me find some paper. Uh, seize this envelope. There, there we go. go. Basically, what I want to do... That paper's fine. I didn't rip nothing. I, I'll buy a Zippo lighter for the sheer, for the only purpose of just burning those pamphlets and say, oh, man, like, I, I love babies. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you're, you're creating a, a possibility of a fire that way. Don't start something on fire, because you can't get arrested for that. Oh, okay. We'll just rip it up, then. You uh, can't that takes, tra- take, if you have a bunch of pamphlets, how long do you think that's going to take to rip up? Just throw them away somewhere or pee on them. Just give it some some way that they can't use them. Just, just, just chew them up a little bit, spit them out, make a wad that's just, just a... Just drop trout and just rub your genitals all over them and say, thankfully, I didn't go to Planned Parenthood to get this STD looked at. <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> How about that? Oh, oh, God, that's so good. And it's like... <laughs> Like, I just want to, like, question them and say, like, what Anyways. about paid maternity leave? Anyways. I know. We can go so far I don't want to talk about abortions in a fucking fridge art. No. <laughs> that parasol is disgusting. It is. It's really bubbly and, it like, nothing hazy. to do with... Yeah, I like, haven't looked at this up close probably like, since I did it. Like, why is it flat, but it's facing towards us so it should be round? Like, the bottom. Because it's, it's on her shoulder. But, oh. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like like how a parasol. Do you like her, her tiny, her tiny bird bird lips? No, <laughs> no, she's quite disgusting. It's it's mostly the fact that if you think about her face, like in a Picasso kind of way, like if it's literally like <laughs> that's the flat side of her face, <laughs> it'd literally be like if you just have an eye like right there on your temple, and it's the most like, horrifying thing to think of. Also, like her like eyebrow. Is, like is also getting kind of tinier back in the back there with her with her. I like how by there. <laughs> I, mean, tiny the, eye. I like how this this eyebrow just connects right to the bridge of her nose, and then this other one is really far away from it. She's lifting up her eye because she's like Whoop. no, she has like one eyebrow just shoved she's, into. She has one part of a unibrow, but not the other part. She shaved that part. I like her her mild like. Mm. Like she, just, she's not expressing an emotion. Just a disaster. Her, it the looks emotion like she's, she's strangled. <laughs> the emotion she's expressing is that she has a mouthful of peas, and she doesn't want to spit them out. Because her like, face is like a fucking round ball. Like, go down. Let's see more of her design. Yeah, let's is, go on. So her neck is connects oh, way boy. too fucking far back. Yeah, her breasts and her face are Don't going to. I, I, so this parasol. Uh, oh, like oh, hand? oh, do you like oh, her hand? Oh. Does she have like five fingers on one hand? There's, why is she? Oh uh, my gosh, she does. <laughs> oh. Uh, Do you like she her? She has like a nubbin instead <laughs> of a finger. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh. Oh, Do you God. Like her? Do you like her amputated thumb? Oh, God. Look at like the hook of the umbrella parasol. Like, disgusting. <laughs> oh my God. Beazle, do you think it's disgusting? Why, why is the shadow so far away from her hand? But it doesn't okay. look like it's far away from her hand. <laughs> like, it just looks like she has a stripe like she's a damn tiger. Also, look, look at her fucking other fingers. What the fuck? <laughs> like, do you look like they're submerged in poop? <laughs> it looks like she, like, stuck her hand into it. just a little bit of diarrhea. To, like, watery diarrhea. Like, look dysentery. Look at how, like, the, and side just... of her, the side of her stomach is, like, flat. And it's, like, sort of around here. What the fuck is going on with the oh shading there? Oh my god, look there? at how long her arm must be. Like, you know? You no, know. you can, like, it. maybe it's out to the side. I don't fucking care. No, if she has, like, a... a I, I, before we go farther down to the danger zone... We're I, I do pretty far look down. Look at her shoulder. It, she is literally a Barbie doll. She's having part of her arm dislocated. No, 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 Barbie has, like, the karate chef things where it looks like she's sitting in a chair. Karate chop. That's Barbie arms. 
This is no, like, it's your shoulder though. Like you, you dislocated a Barbie doll, uh, and then it's still in the like jacket, <laughs> so it's kind of like flipping, flapping around. Oh, god damn it, Andrea, that's disgusting. Do you like her extremely pointy elbow? No, that's my favorite part. No, I also hate I have the, pointy elbows. That's not what your elbows look like. They don't like extend, like you know. <laughs> I also like how the crease isn't enough for that. I, I, I can't. <laughs> You're I can't. so outraged. Like the back of my head hurts from laughing. Like look at like her. The shading on that arm is shit. Yeah, it's literally just like a. Kristen, there was a time I wasn't very good. At... Like you know, like a chicken wing. Like when you when you get it and and you like strip <laughs> off all the flesh okay, here's what, and it's just. Flat. Here's what happened. All right. She's oh, walking along Jesus. as this giant monstrosity with the longest games ever. <laughs> and she fell into this road, and she had her arm run over by a truck. <laughs> but an ambulance came by and just, just pumped her full of drugs. So she just got back up and started walking around. So she's a tune. <laughs> she's literally, she's literally no. a tune from... Well, maybe, but... Yeah, so she got she got back up and she's just walking around with just mild amusement because everything is all sorts of fucked up because she's on so many drugs. That's the story we're going with now. Andrea, this is probably one of my least favorite th- I, I like. It's you not- say that? I can top this so many ways. Oh, Don't you fucking God. tempt me, Like, Kristen. the bench in the background, and, like, she is, like... Do you like her scenies? <laughs> I like... So, the only thing I like is the fact that she has a checkered dress. It's a skirt. Well, you know what I mean. A, a thing you wear if you're female. Or female-bodied. Or female-baddied. She just you know. has the tiny. That is disgusting. <laughs> like, and just like the shadow of the damn thing on her hand. Like, why would you do that? Do you also, like how there's like buttons on this side? Oh no, I see. I I accounted for that because they're they're together. You can't see the the holes where the buttons don't go into, but you can see these crazy slash marks. Just <laughs> even though they don't fucking match up with any there's of the just buttons, a million of them. One, two, there's five of them here, and there's one, two, three, four, God. five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's like the laziest airbrushing. I just hate it. And like the shadows, there's no like crisp edges. Like the do you shadows like, on do her you like feet. Like her wind blown coat. No, <laughs> it looks like she literally has like like a piece of goo that was made out of fabric. And then like you know like like World War like One happened. Gum. It looks like just like wadded a bubble gum, but it's also attached to her coat. Like it's. Like, look at the shadows of her feet. This took me so long no, to No, I do. can tell. This was... Actually, I take it back. I don't think this was 2010. This... If this was Unabomber days, this was a, a, a before 2008. So this would have been about the same time as... Um, actually, I think I did this right after that, that Valia picture. Yeah. Which, which is the one with the Ugh. the angel thing with the, the cat ears, and she's in, like... Like that, and has the bird faces, like, really close up. Oh, that one? Yeah, I remember that and one. I think that's right around this time. Like, I think he had seen uh, that one, and then he commissioned this. Because this was my first commission from him. Like, what the fuck is happening with the perspective, like, along the... Like, see the bench, and then the window, like, right by her, her gam? The the yellow, and then the bench? <laughs> but then look at the, like, building to the right of it. Like, what the hell is going on there? It's like... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, really shitty transverse... No. <laughs> like, you know, like, Traverse Town from Kingdom Hearts? No. Sure. You played Kingdom Hearts. You oh, played I the did, first one. Yeah. It's the first the first one that, The like, fucking you... one that goes on forever. Yeah, that's yeah. what this reminds me of. Like, it's never-ending. It's just... <laughs> it's just... I, I like how it just says, like, these these little, like... Like, coaster feet. Andrew, like, this, is, coaster this feet. is just shit. And, like, it looks like it's a baby's bench, but she's, like, 12 <laughs> feet tall. Like, Do you... Here, here's something to, to fuck with your mind a little bit more. This is supposed to be perspective, so this is supposed I know. to be the side of the building. That's what I was asking. What the fuck is that? Because it should not be... Obviously, it's the side of a building, Kristen. It looks like it's going <laughs> in like MC Escher. Like, I'm literally like... Like, is it... Are we looking inside the display, or like... Do you like this this roundabout turnstile thing? <laughs> What <laughs> the fuck? It's a, re- a revolving door. There you go. Like the I honestly thought doors. it was like a really shitty Doctor Who reference. <laughs> I was like, is that like the telephone box? Like, what the? That's not. You'd literally have to be a damn stick to like you're a broom and you just get stuffed in there. And you would have to be. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally like a foot. I'm fucking, I'm fucking You'd have dead. to like be making out with the. You'd have to imagine being shut. It's like literally being shoved into a locker. 
<laughs> I mean, yes. it looks like. Do you I, like the perspective though? No, it looks like. Why, why not? It looks. Why don't you like it, Kristen? Because it's I shit. I took a really long time on it, Kristen. It's shit, and you it should feel bad. I think I did this with tablet, Kristen. <laughs> with what tablet? <laughs> well, it's it's too fucking PC it's to almost, be a mouse. It's almost That's like a tablet. It almost is like so it's probably tablets though. in the hands of artists who are not experienced. <gasps> don't make good <gasps> pieces. <gasps> <laughs> that was very loud. It turns out every time I gasp like that on the replay, it just sounds like an orgasm. It it <gasps> does, but I don't, I'm not really familiar with. Ooh, no, <laughs> it's not like. Eh, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know what a hentai sounds like, but it probably sounds like that. I remember I watched hentai once, and the best thing was when she got a dick shoved in her mouth because it, okay, she literally stopped making that high pitched squeaking noise she kept making. It was like. <laughs> And it was like really loud, and then she was like, <laughs> you know, and it was like I was like I, I can't believe like I am super feminist and stuff, and I cannot believe I just do thought you, that. Do you? <laughs> no. Do you like this arrow in the back? Get the topsy turviness of the thing. Why does it go down to like Basil and Baker Street over there? Like it's literally getting super tiny over here. Or yeah, over look at here? that. Look at the street lights. I know, and they're all connected on. That was my idea, by the way. He wanted a distorted reality thing, just, but I'm pretty sure bad perspective was not a part of that. That was horrible. That's he paid. It was a big fine for or a big sum for this. I think it was maybe twenty dollars for probably yeah. what was a couple weeks of of work. Like I, I worked on this thing forever. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Not only for that, you could have literally like worked anywhere else and gotten more money. <laughs> we were really stupid as kids. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. What? Well, man, getting twenty dollars for like two weeks of work or something is fucking dumb. Well, that's the thing is, I I was this was two thousand eight. I was just in college. You could have done anything else though, like your own was personal in college. work. And I was also working at Steak and Shake at the same time. I would have just. Well, see, what I, I did my personal work a lot, and I, I kind of resent the fact that I don't do more personal work, and now I will. Okay. Now that I've... Anyway, so... so <laughs> no, because because instead of, like, getting paid shit, you could have done, like, your own personal work instead of listening to... I think I was definitely Love a nice day. day. Love a nice day, Kristen. Love a nice day. I mean, it's good day. practice, but... That's the thing. Know. It pushed me to draw something I never would have drawn. And yeah, it looks like shit, and I the like body looks like... Beats. Yeah, those it's are literally two, two horse hooves. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's it literally is it's high heels. Click, click, also, click, I didn't click, actually click. put the heels part in there. I think that's supposed to be the ground that she's walking on, even though uh, there's no shadow under it. I, I think she's tippy toeing, and it's not good. Also, there's like, why is the shadow so mushy right close to her foot when it should be super sharp? Because it's right fucking next to her foot. Because I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> Why is the crack? She's about to step on a crack that's huge, and she's gonna break her mom's back. Like that she one... already stepped on a crack over here. No, no. See that crack in front? That's like a gay <laughs> vagina. Like, what no. is that? What is with you and vaginas? It's it's very no. It's literally a line with lines around it. It's, it's not. Just, it's just kind of like flesh like it's just weird it's a gas it in looks the like bruised skin it looks like dead bruised skin if somebody was drowning or dead vagina for a while, <laughs> that's the color that, that that sidewalk is is like bruised skin dead bruised skin Ugh, it is it's not good no it's not and you didn't add any here. like chewed up bubble gum onto the ground that's too bad that's a that's a detail you could have added and you Kristen, this is a plane here Yep, that's the mushiest fucking plan ever. I like how it just looks like instead of using it's a lasso just going tool. Straight up. <laughs> I didn't. Fuck. It's like, like this one, it goes. Uh, the building next to it goes like it looks like it, it's like thrusting upwards from the street. Like it looks like it's pointing away. But this one, since you're closer, oh, it's a <laughs> since you're closer. Our jumbo jets are taken off. We only have two of them here, and they leave every night. And that's how Roanoke gets most of its mail. Um, that a lot of places get their mail. 
Well, we're mountain bound here. It's like you can go through. It's just less of a pain in the ass to fly it. We in. get the old Pony Express to give us our mail. It only takes pony ten days. Well, my favorite part about that is that it's just so fucking big. It's a seven forty seven, and we have a tiny airport. So, and also, there's not a lot of like room. So, as I was telling Kristen uh, in our spaces between uh, when we were recording stuff. Uh, most of the time, it goes off this opposite end where it has this big, long field that it sort of buffers that nobody has to live right under that. But sometimes if weather is super bad, it'll go off in our direction or my direction over here. Because Kristen doesn't live around here no more. Uh, it'll go off in, in my direction here, and it like the, the runway ends, and then there's a road immediately beneath it. And I happened to be driving on that road when that fucking thing went over, and it was the scariest. It, it sounded like a like a... Like a magnitude ten earthquake, like it was just like, <laughs> like, like my do, car was shaking, and yeah. they do tend to break the sound barrier when they're, you know. Oh my, God. my favorite is when it's like jets coming by, and luckily that's super rare here. But when it's like, those are cool. I do when like it's that. like an explode. I've seen a, 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 I guess a YouTube video of a jet once, and I maybe it was a missile, but it went straight up. And then the the sound breaking the clouds actually made a hole in the clouds, and it was the coolest fucking thing. That it literally ripped, like, a perfect hole, like, perfectly. And uh, I love seeing things break the sound barrier, but... I... There was one time uh, after 9-11 when I was living in Chicago that somebody um, got a little wacky on one of the flights, and I think he had gotten off his medication or something, but he threatened the people, and then he was... Uh, thrown to the ground and sat on is how they they landed the plane. But um, so they they sent two like F sixteen or F eighteens to intercept and they did a sonic boom over a residential area and it broke a lot of windows and it sounded like like I because I was an in the, explosion yeah. yeah well I was sitting in, I was in the in the basement area and it sounded like somebody had dropped the car on the roof like, yeah. it was just like. <laughs> And it's just like, and then you hear like, like all the sirens and stuff going on. And I ran outside here, like just this, this fucking resonating cloud of it, like a, like a thunder. It was really cool. And I'm probably never going to see that again in my life, but you can go to air shows and they do it. I can only hope. Yeah. They're they're really fun. I love, I love going to air. We used to go to some in San Diego. The one in Cleveland I, that was right by where I used to live, like, they never broke the sound barrier or anything. Well, I, it's really I, think, it, I think it depends. I, I think they're usually, I don't think they usually break the sound barrier, because it's, it dangerous. does tend to rupture eardrums, and it is an explosion. Well, they, they did that thing with, with Myth, Mythbusters, and I guess it doesn't actually do that, but oh. it does break windows and hurt eardrums. Yeah. It doesn't, like... It's probably not good for you. It's not good for It you. won't kill you, but it's probably not good. Like, but. it just, it, it sounded like... Like, somebody who was a car just jumped on a roof and just slammed down. It was yeah. wild. Anyways, about this terrible-looking cream. It actually is making me nauseous looking Good. at it, because the colors are gross. It looks like basically barf has been coated in it. <laughs> like, it's, like, barf-coated, like, nothing is pure anymore. It's, like, basically, like, Blade Runner, but, like, really shitty Blade Runner. <laughs> shitty like, bruised Blade Runner. Like, you know, just, the city never sleeps. I gotta get my, uh, you know... It, um, it looks like uh, she has roe underneath here. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like she's transporting her eggs. It does look like a giant clam. Like a giant clam's ribbon eggs. Underneath there. That's gross. Andrea, I don't want to look at this. This is... Okay. Uh, we'll come back with Chris. This is really <laughs> gross. It's the first time we've had to stop recording because something was too disgusting to look at. <laughs> which is fun. It's I'm actually... Fun. I don't know if it was something I ate, but looking at that and the colors is like... Oh... Don't make those sounds. Oh god, you can see it too. We're looking at the oh. the thing, and it's like a little. It looks like a little slug, like a little. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll cut this part out. But... <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's. Uh... Okay, we'll come back with Kristen. <laughs> there you. There we go. So how does that Deep. make you feel? Um, yeah, let, let, let's go through what the, the person had said. So what were you trying to accomplish in this in this drawing, Kristen? I like demons that are also horses with meaty thighs. And I wanted it running Do in you... space. <laughs> I, like your, I like your planet. This is MS Paint, right? Oh, it is definitely MS Paint. Do you like I can, the... Uh... I can tell by the airbrush tool. You like it? No. You like it? It, it looks like it's in some sort of, like, weird, like, bubble... Field, it like is soap bubbles or 
Or maybe, you know, it's like that grass is the same color as, like, toothpaste. It does it's look weird. like basically someone kind of smeared crest toothpaste, but really <laughs> sandy crest, like, 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 it looks like, like pumice. the dissolve layer. You know? yeah. Pumice and toothpaste together at last. Yeah, because you can see the jagged edges of the grass up there. You see it? Like right near the horizon? Horizon? Or the horizon? <laughs> horizon wireless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you like the blood moon there? If I do not, like the blood moon. If you're not careful, demons will come out. I, I like that it looks like a bowling ball. Sort of. <laughs> Uh, I mostly like his mouth. His mouth is my favorite. What? You know, it's literally like one of those ancient fish with one plated... Teeth. Yeah, he looks like a parrotfish. He yeah. looks like a type of parrotfish. He eats coral. I bet he Maybe does. that's and what he actually does. And when the red moon comes out, he grows legs and <laughs> <laughs> scampers his way incredibly low to the I, ground. I do like he has, has like a like a pre movie bridge, like a horse leap. Like, that's not how horses run. I like how he's doing that, and also he looks like he's, like, pretty much on the ground. Because for some reason you have, like, more of this white stuff, like... <laughs> it doesn't look like he's running, he just looks like he's either, like, like this far off the ground, or on the ground. And he's just like... It does. Boy, I, I, I went and I did this my share. I, like, he just like, like the his, weirdest bone. I like his, uh, his chunk claws... Like, literally, his claws are, like, bursting out of his toes, and they're huge. They are. They're Jesus like, Christ. Yeah, they're literally, like, if you had, like, I a like a swirls. cancerous growth on, on your, uh... Yep. What the fuck is this? His ear, I think. I think he just has, like, stripes on his stupid ear. Do you like his anime eye? I, I do like his incredibly dark... I like how you use, like, the soft brush on his eye. Oh, it's not the soft brush. It's basically just, uh, it's, like... See how... See the artifacting? It was a JPEG. Saved on photo bucket, so from MS what? Paint. What? It's a it, it's, Yeah, it's a sharp it's a sharp brush, it's just that's just a, oh, that's okay. artifacting. Yeah. Gotcha, that's why random other parts are also super blurry. Yeah. It's pretty big for it being I uh, may have accidentally zoomed in like fifty thousand times. Well even then, that's still pretty big for Yep. Um, it's, I think it'd be a fun thing to revisit just because yeah, this is so cool. shitty. Yeah, like, he's interesting looking. He, Especially if he, he sort of looks like the snake thing that I'm drawing right now. Ah. Especially if he eats coral. And that, may, yeah. that means he, he... Along with your pinky bear, just make your coral dragon. <laughs> and he just... Like, I like his shiny white teeth. I like his... Wait. I like his, like, um... His two fangs that are completely weird. Yeah, those are... That definitely makes it look more like a fish, but... What am I trying to say? Like, have you ever seen the Inspector Gadget movie? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you know how there's, like, the bad gadget and his teeth are, like, one big solid, like, brick of teeth? That's what that go, reminds me. Go, go, Gadget Teeth! He was, like, the evil... Oh, God, I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't Tough. Google it. Don't evil do it. Evil Gadget... Gadget movie. Gadge movie. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like exactly like a. Who is that <laughs> actor? Oh, Jesus. Uh, who is that actor again? He's awful. Uh, the Inspector Gadget guy. Oh, God, that's terrible. It does look exactly like that. Like, he has like a like a, a lot of nice veneers. Yeah. But veneers that are too nice. Yeah, like this is what it looks like to me. Um. Go, go, Gadget horse. Stop leaning over and I'm yelling sorry. at me. Um, God, his name is on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, who played Ferris Bueller? Is it Ferris Bueller? Matthew Broderick. Oh, okay, he's awful. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it looks like the evil Matthew Broderick. It's <laughs> like... That's not that the one where he's just smiling with a... Which one? The, this? The, yeah. It's tiny. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, it's tiny. Okay. <laughs> I'll, that... I'll save this one, too. Oh, that one's Everybody's pretty Everybody's happy. But there that's go. what it looks like. It, it just, does. It looks like the fucking gadget thing where he has the most perfect teeth and he's terrifying. Oh. Yeah. Like... So, so how does this piece make you feel, Krista? Uh, it makes me feel like I'm I'm one in the wilderness with this beast. Okay. And uh, what were some of the other questions that guy asked you? 
Uh, what's the focal point? Is it the fucking moon up in the sky? <laughs> I don't know. the fucking moon. It's the moon for some reason. I don't know. I also, like, I had no concept of, like, like, I, what's it called? Like, placing things in a composition? Uh, everybody draws these sort of just character it's like, side-on it's, things. It's literally, like, the character fits and that's it. That's it. And then there's a horizon right in the middle, but for some reason it raises up towards the head. Yeah. Like, why does that happen? That, and also by the tail. Oh, yeah, I go, okay. So it's like hills. So this is that same sort of um, loser island or whatever from Dragon Ball Z that we talked about before. <laughs> King Kamehameha's Island, I know that's not it. Um, where it just, it looks like it immediately drops off the face of the earth right maybe there. Maybe it does. Maybe? In- maybe that's the, maybe I should push that concept further. I like his. I like how his back paws just don't have detail on them. Yep, it's just like the the outline, but it's not even like a darker outline. It just looks like he has. It, it creates a really weird ass effect. I do like the the types of patterns that he chose on with them. Interesting. Yeah, he looks like, like a like a mad baboon more. Oh, that'd be kind of fun making him like a baboon parrotfish. That'd be really terrifying. I think I have like. Baboon ter- just, parrotfish that eats just crystals Just be sure or to something? put uh, Matthew Broderick's terrified uh, gadget face on there. Go, go, gadget, coral smash. No, it's just like, ay, 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 ay. Uh, we just do the, the teeth thing. I didn't even watch the gadget movie, but that's when I was working in the movie theater. Uh, and I will never forget that There was too, much, there was too much slapstick. There was too much slapstick. It was not good. It was like, it was like shock. watching... It was shock like, of shocks. It was like watching The Mask. I just can't fucking get through no, that The movie. Mask is fine. It's the son of The Mask that is... The mask I have a hard time getting through, really? too. Yeah, it's it's awful. It's just... I was talking with this guy in a dating site one time, and, uh, like I said, I'm like, oh, yeah, I watched Space Jam the other day, and Space Jam, unfortunately, is a big pile of shit. And it is. Because oh, yeah, because it's on Netflix right now. It is on Netflix, or no, I, it's it's on Amazon. I know that. I'm not sure if it's actually on Netflix. I think it it's is. just on... I think it's just Because I watched you. it recently. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I watched okay. the beginning, and I was like, I gotta Isn't go. it just, like, the weirdest, like, masturbatory thing for Michael Jordan? Yeah. He's, like... He's, he's like, playing it, but he's playing it like he's acting so hard, and it's bad. It's, oh, yeah. No. And I I said that to this guy. I'm like, oh, you might not want to watch Space Jam again. It's gotten pretty bad. He's like, oh, I don't know if I could watch the movies again. I'd couldn't bear to think of them as less than what they were. I was like, oh, yeah. I wouldn't date that person. And he's, <laughs> he, he told me something. He's like, you have good dreams tonight. And then he hasn't talked to me since. Good. Weird. People are weird. Internet people Men are, are weird. Yeah. But, but, yeah. No, so he I, has big giant red claws. I like his swirlies on his claws. I think what I keep looking at is just this, like, double hawk thing back here. He has, like, uh, you know, like, the whippets that have the genetic condition where they just become <laughs> super muscled? Like, he has double muscles, yeah. just one right over the other. Like, I think he has double muscled thighs, or he has, like, the most beautiful, like, thick thighs, like, especially, like, old dragons, like, when they had, like, they had, like, badonks. Ham thighs. Yeah, they had, like, badonks that wouldn't end. And it was, it was, I like, uh, it's a badonk that won't quit. Oh, so, sorry. I mean, you know, badonk <laughs> that won't quit, but... Like, I don't know, like, I, I really, I always drew on MS Paint a lot, like, and, and the problem is, there's nothing, like, exceedingly, like, like, it's just kind of stupid and goofy, like, yeah, really, but there really isn't, it, like, the anatomy is, like... You can look at like, one if you want. Oh, okay. Like, I... Oh. 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 Wow. Yeah, no, I, it, like, for me, like, the problem with these is mostly that they're boring, yeah. They're, they're not, like, there's nothing, like, well, you're exceedingly... exploring an idea, and that's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, like, this was at the point where I didn't like watercoloring because I was so shit at, like, and color, and then computers were the only way I could get really vivid color. Uh-huh. And I wasn't good at color, that's for sure, but it was definitely more vivid than, uh, you know, what's it called? Mm-hmm. Like, using watercolor, and you'd be disappointed all, all the time. Well, it's Emma's Paint, and Emma's Paint is restricting, to say the least. Yeah. Well, um, I, I really like, like, drawing space. So, I can tell, and it's really easy to accomplish because it's just black, and then yeah. one pixel white square. Yeah, and I also like drawing ocean things a lot, and one of my uh, my my opus uh, magnum or whatever for... Uh, magnum opus. Magnum opus, there we go. Opus magnum. <laughs> really it's big the condom. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when, when, the one thing I did on MS Paint, it was like a three megabyte MS Paint file, which is giant. I mean, it was like 3,000 pixels tall, and for Windows 95 it was huge. And it was basically, like, I just drew all these, like, you know, like, how you didn't like how I drew all the fish? (laughs) Basically, imagine that, like, 
but 3,000 pixels MS Paint size, and I just drew, like, this entire landscape of, like, underwater. Like, it was, like, Echo the Dolphin, but, like... Huh. Yeah, no, and then and then our and then I I couldn't fit it on How a floppy. How many sad fish were in there though? Um, I think there were a lot of sharks eating fish. I really like that. I don't know. I really like showing animals eating other animals. I think I had like a I've got problem. a lot of I've got a lot of fear for centipedes, but I want to see all the animals just be eaten by other animals. Good. Yeah. Does that describe your life? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see what else we can get up to in. Uh, Kristen's. Oh, that's unfinished, but that was like a... It's shit. It's shit. <laughs> this is somebody's where you had to put a bunch of people's characters it was, in uh, No, no, no. This is actually Final Fantasy IV fan art. <laughs> it's it's Rydia and then the stupid Wind Dragon, because, uh, God, the design of that was so shit. I like that it's just... This is so terrible for composition-wise. Oh, it is. I That's actually, I think, part of the reason I stopped. I was like, no, that's that's Okay. And then I stopped. And then, you know, of course you have a friend, no, no, continue it, because, you know, but it's... Yeah, your demon horse running, done. It's uh, it's amazing how it was literally cut directly in half. So were you going to do something else with this? Like, what was going or on? Or was this like a zoom in? I don't know. Like, I think that it's was a crop composition. This is crop. Okay, then it must have been cropped. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... My sources are telling me... Here, here, oh... I don't remember what it was going to be like. I don't know. Maybe it's not crop. Maybe I decided to crop it for some reason. It's shit. I mean, but we can we can critique the the. You know, I can't figure it out. I don't care. Photo. My, I have like fifty thousand so versions. This of is this is a good, a good way to bring up a uh, composition. Sure because is because you have this large giant ass figure in the back, and it completely cuts your thing in half. Here, it looks like two pictures just sort of slapped together. It almost might be. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, my 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 feet. Were but jiggling. like the the curve on the dragon is so like inorganic and stuff. It's, it's it, gross. It brings your eyes straight to it. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, I think part of the reason I stopped this was because I was so like I detailed the dragon and I was just so unsatisfied with how it looked. Like the design of the dragon just wasn't very good to go off of. I probably should have just used my imagination and. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah. But, like, because literally it's just a stake with some feathers in its hair, and then it's literally like a, like a, basically like a white dick that just floats <laughs> in the sky, and it's like, uh but, but yeah, you're right, the composition is gross. That's really bad. And, like, yeah. it, it, it has this thing over, okay, it has this thing over here where you have, like, this nice looking field, and then it just fucking drops off the, the face of the earth, right where the dragon is. Yeah, I wonder if, if it was... This, what, if what you would cut that up, was. that would yeah. at least, like, tie it together, but it just makes it so halved. Like, I wonder what the non-crop version looked like. I don't know. They're all say, got, they all say cropped. I know. That's really frustrating, because now I'm like, ah, damn it. You know, because... that's cropped copy two, and it's cropped copy three. I know, so... There ain't no other copy, Kristen. Yeah, because it's... It, I, I obviously... So it looks like you're going to have her sitting on a stick... Like a pedestal, I think. I think it's supposed to be like a like ruins or pedestal. Because Final Fantasy IV was more like I wouldn't. I don't want to say it's shit because it wasn't. But they went to the moon, and uh, I'm following you so far. <laughs> uh, moon. Uh, they went to the moon on a spaceship, and then you fight on the moon for a while, and then you meet moon people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I need do to not? say more. Do you not do this? It was things? really 90s Japan, if that makes any sense. You fight, there's like a moon whale. Moon whale. And then, you know. Motherfucking And moon there's Lunarians. Whale. And I think, like, the main character's a Lunarian, and then the villain's a Lunarian. So what is this uh, Michelin Man character here? Oh, it's the, oh, if you play the DS version, I think it's like her little, like, fucking, basically her little character. Her little, not her little character, but basically there's like a little, like, Eidolon. I guess that's what they're called when, when they're the little summons. They're called Eidolons mm-hmm. in some versions of Final Fantasy. I think, like, I don't know, four, six. No, they're called Espers. And six. I don't fucking know. But basically they're, they're, they're little summons. That is not Andrea's playing around with little little brown uh, antlers. Yeah, I got some antlers. Little, some stantlers, and they're uneven looking. Whatever. Yeah. Um, For me, like the contrast isn't enough. Like, there's nothing to focus on. Yeah, it was it was at a point in time where I just used a lot of layers, and it it was just fucking awful. I, I like the chocobo. I think the chocobo looks nice. Um, that's the one that's fucking finished. Yeah, 
I then I this, gave up. <laughs> this crazy shit going on up here is this pur- purple chocobo? Yeah, the purple, purple chocobos were the ones that could fly, and that that one's fine too. I guess it's not great, but it, it shows distance. At, is it looking at it wistfully that it wishes it could fly? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'd love to read. I actually. I and the sad. I think on my photo bucket, I actually had a redone version of this that was so much better. That uh, actually like followed composition and shit because if Rydia was like basically like doing some magic shit and the dragon was like following her hand, which was a lot more fun because basically like in the game, uh, summoners have like their own like I guess a Dolan that they can summon and it's gotcha. special to them. So basically, because she's a summoner, she can have she has like the white dragon. That I Does guess she have just to her like mom. a leaf hair? She has like a feather. It's a stupid design. If you look up Rydia, no, okay, <laughs> she's basically very green. She has green hair. I can tell she's very green. Yeah. I like her smiling boots. Yeah. Her gold oh, smiling boot. Yeah, no, I, I like how I didn't use a reference, and I probably should have. And uh, yeah, well, But I, I guess, stopped while I was ahead. I heard, like, which was, like, <laughs> it literally looks woo? like she has, like, like bow-ass legs. It, it's, it looks it's like she's part, like, um, mermaid. Except her legs are just sort of backwards and attached weird. Yeah, no, this is... I, I'd love to, like, actually redo this, because I really did like the sketch I had done after this, after being really angry. I Like, the dragon was ugly. I, I'll have to... I don't know where it is, but I really enjoyed it, and I really liked Final Fantasy IV. It was one of the childhood games that I really enjoyed. I guess maybe if you had so. put more actual color and, and darkness, yeah. even though this thing is, is distant, it, it does tend to... It tends to be a lot bluer darkness so it, it compensates with with uh atmospheric perspective like mm-hmm. like the whatchamacallit thing i did with the yeah like the like more Battle blue or blues our pre-release math thing blue or blues instead of cyan blues yeah blue or blues but it, it does retain that darkness yeah and i tended not to shade with i sh- tended to shade with darker like grayer versions of the yeah. color like the chocobo and stuff isn't really vivid and stuff like i do it's like really that it looks like medium. it's made of metal it's very shiny Oh, the dragon? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... I basically, at the time, I... It looks I like a Dr. Layers. Octopus arm. Yeah, I don't but like how, the like, the head. neck gets, like, thicker at the base. I really fucking don't like that. That's not... That's not me. That's not how I do it. <laughs> Gross. Do you like on this monitor how you can see, like, these real sensitive light colors? You can see all this artifact thing because he just blew out the white. Oh, yeah, that's the shit. Can't see it on this one. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely blew out the white to shit. But for me, yeah, no, you're definitely right with the composition. I wonder what it looked like before crop, but I know for a fact that this is a point where I said, I do not like this. I don't like how it's turning out, and then I stopped. And sometimes you just have to do that. Especially if you don't fucking plan your well, illustrations. Like, I surely didn't. The thing is, is, like, you want to... It, you don't want to give up on something, but if you can learn from something, then you can say, yeah, okay. I've learned from my mistake with this. I'll do it better this other way. Yeah, and I and I made a sketch that I probably should have continued with because I thought it was much better that I actually did like because I was like, oh, well, the dragon is big, but you can't really... It doesn't show any scale. You can't tell, like, how big it is, really. There are some birds in front, but it's like, oh, shit. You know, the land is boring. Mm. There's nothing really... Like, the colors are boring. And, and I think uh, if you if you had her to tie it down with more of that darker tones and yeah. something, I think it would, really wouldn't have been as bad. Yeah. I, what I think is the biggest issue is just how this land just goes to nothing. Yeah. Right also the same the, area the dragon happens, that, that is really annoying to look at. Well, like, I don't mind land dropping off. It's just that it, this is just so unpleasant just and pastel. Just not there with this, with this composition. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. No, there's a don't way to do there. it fucking do it over here where it's not connected with this dragon where it like it yeah. looks like it pulls either move the entire the dragon, universe down with it even even move either have the dragon somewhere else like where it works with with the land dropping off there or do yeah. something but it, yeah definitely i also just don't like the pastels it was a time when i used a lot of colors that just were not very vivid it was before i found like my color sense and and it, it shows it's a little yeah. more boring and yeah. uh it wasn't as vivid until I learned about fucking overlay and using like yellow and warm warm tones and blue tones and True that. exciting tones, purple tones, all contrast. The purple tones. There's also no contrast like anywhere. It's like well, there is here, but it's only with the sketch lines. Yeah, I know. See, that's the. I, it's such a. It was just kind of like it's boring. I guess that's the the cardinal sin. It's really boring. The composition is not good, mm. and uh, there's no contrast, so it's hard. There's nothing to focus on really. And, and it's half finished. I guess that's yeah, also a cardinal sin. But 
I, I, but for me personally, I'd rather stop something and start anew if I, if I have a better idea for it. But also, just fucking plan it out. I, I would def- I don't really advocate that. I definitely try to see it through as far along as you can. Like, okay. because if you just, like, stop, or like, no, no, wait, I can do this this other way. Like, you, if you never <laughs> finish out a thought, yeah. you're not going to go very far on that. That's true. I mean, like, but, that's, but that's, that's why, why I've so many... out better to begin with. That's why I have so many rendered shit-looking things, is because I'm like, well, i got to finish it now. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm a believer in, like, planning out things in advance, and this was, like, just like, oh, man, I want to draw Rydia, and she's sitting, but then I'm going to have a dragon, it's going to be right there, and I didn't plan it out, I didn't do thumbnailing or anything. Oh, yeah, definitely and that's, thumbnail. And that's Always the problem, it's, it's that I didn't realize how shit it was until it was, like, halfway done. And that's the problem. That's why, but but I but sometimes, like for me in this case, I I wanted to stop because I didn't enjoy it, and I felt I could do better because I learned like, oh, I should probably like look into better compositions than just her sitting. Yeah. And there's a dragon. It's like cut in the middle. It's just dumb. Yeah. Well, so. we've seen plenty of artists that will do the thing where it's some sort of large. <laughs> oh, we know. Bis- <laughs> we ain't gonna name names, but <laughs> it's like a large bisecting object right in the middle. And anytime, if you can, if it looks like you can separate an image by just, like, cutting right down the middle and nothing will be lost on either side, that's wrong. That's, that's, that's not good. You don't, you cannot do that. Like, mm. you want your things to tie together. You want, like, you could have made her tie together with this dragon by just having her dress just overlapping it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you need to have interaction with your characters. And if you just have, if you just have them, like, side by side and they're on opposite sides of the page looking at each other, it's dumb. Like, yeah. You need an actual interaction for them for there to be something for people to latch onto. Yeah, and there really is no interaction. No. And that's and that's uh There's an interaction here with this chocobo and this purple chocobo and, and sort of around here, but that's because they're all together here. That's why this yeah. looks like one image here. Yeah. If you had tilted this like from uh, the left of where the dress comes in, if you had taken this and you had tilted it and you sort of painted it in, it would look like a perfectly fine image. It has three characters in it, they're varying sizes, you can yeah. tell how far away each one is, etc. But this one is just, that's why I asked if this was a commission, like that one where we saw where it was just a bunch of different characters that just sort of crammed in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, this this is actually like one of the few times where, I, where I've actually drawn, I started drawing fan art. Although if you go a little further, I think I might have the sketch in there, the, the better sketch, like a page or two further, because I remember getting angry. I don't know about you, Kristen. What? Oh, uh, no. There she is. There she is. Day Kristen. Day Kristen. Is that the full one? Huh. No, that's just a shitty... That's just an... Oh, there's another choke bonus right behind her. Shit. Oh, my God. Jesus. It's terrifying. <laughs> it still has that exact same... Uh, we're not going to talk about it much. Oh, yeah. We're no, literally, apparently, there's another version. It's just a choke behind it, her. It just stepping. has a giant choke bow. Super, like... super stepping. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, let's see. Go, go. Slip let's sliding around. going deeper. Let's, uh... Oh, now we're getting into 2000, 2008. Was that a unicorn expelling blood out of its horn? I don't fucking know, man. That was really weird. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, okay. Well, well, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to look on my own, own time because I'd like to do it. I'd actually would because, because that was the time where I had, I really wanted to do a lot of fan art because uh, they had just released like the DS version of Final Fantasy IV, and I loved that game as a kid. It mm-hmm. was fantastic. You know, I enjoyed it. We yeah, started to get it, to furries kissing each other. So uh... yeah. <laughs> Back here. <laughs> Trying to be a little bit of porn. Hmm. Well, that was sort of in the other times, but... Yeah, uh, good, good porn times. Yeah, no, it's just... It has a cardinal sin of being boring. Yep. So, there it's are ways boring. to... You know. It's interesting, but boring. <laughs> it would be nice to revisit this. Night. I do know what this dragon looks like, by the way. I've seen this one. Before. Oh, really? Yeah, and yeah. you know what I mean? It's just a boring design, and there must be, like, a billion ways no, to make it No, they only could use six... Pic- six, uh... No, it was six a Six facets on it. Well, wasn't this a, a 3D thing, though? Oh, the three oh the three DS one or the hold it sorry, it said Final Fantasy DS? four right yeah wasn't this a three D model or something yeah yeah it was the uh, basically it just come out and then uh, my friend and I were were well, that's what I'm saying like doesn't that dragon just have like five sides total that it could be that's why the design is so oh for the DS no not for the fucking DS do you mean just... for the for the Nintendo version the Super Nintendo no I don't know why we're specifying versions. I'm just saying, like, polygons. There we go. It only had, like, six polygons for them to use at the time, because it was so old. No. No, because it was a a new game. Oh, okay. 
Because they had like uh, a they had a nice cutscene, and it was pixels in the original game, and I think it was more exciting. Good. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Kristen is like a like a robot that cannot sense sarcasm. I uh, I have a uh, an issue, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's just an I issue. I don't know what to say. It was uh, it's hard for me to sense humor sometimes. I take people very seriously because I don't always know. Seriously, is it, is it like pixels? All right. What do you want to sing your sing your uh, happy tune see. with? Uh, two spoons, two plastic spoons. Like it sounds like I'm uh, I'm sharpening a it blade. Does. All right, we're doing the murder murder session. Very good, because it's spooky and Halloweeny. Spooky, scary, fridge art. If you want to send your stuff in, then just send it to fridgeartpodcast at gmail dot com, and we'll look at it. Spooky. Spooky Fridgeard. Make a spooky sound. 